All right, I am back with another film study. Back in this room and everything, I'm happy to be back making content like usual once again. I've missed it. Uh, so let's get into it. And I wanted to start off with talking about the Monday Night Game and really about Ian Book and that uh, not great performance against the Miami Dolphins. I think the first thing, though, I really do believe this, and we'll get into it in the film, is I thought the Dolphins played really well. I thought that their defense really just shut down the uh, Saints offense. And yes, the Saints offense is very hobbled. And again, we'll, we'll talk about all of that stuff. But I thought Miami did stuff on top of it to play well and sort of take advantage of those mismatches that they had. So all around, very good. I kind of want to shift gears a little bit and talk about Ian Book for a second. Listen, I know the numbers aren't great, and the tape wasn't great. Uh, you know, a passer rating of 40.6 is not going to be too exciting. He also is a guy making his first NFL start uh, against a tough defense with not much talent around him. Uh, I think that there's a, real, a lot of issues you can talk about with this Saints team. Let's get into the films, and let's talk about what went wrong in a, you know, kind of a weird Monday night game. All right, let's just start off with the pick six, right? Because, I mean, let's be honest. This uh, pass from Ian Book put more points on the board than any other uh, play the Saints were able to get this game. So uh, let's get into this one. And I don't know. I didn't think this one was that bad, actually. Uh, what's going to happen is that Miami is showing cover zero. This is something they'll do a lot where they put a bunch of people on the line and then they ha basically go man on man for everybody else. And this really works on like a third down and eight where basically, you know, you can have everybody play sort of seven yards off, as you see them doing right here, and then basically you just run up and make a tackle. But on a third and three, if you make a quick throw, you can absolutely get this to be a, you know, a quick completion. So look, right when Ian Book takes the snap right here, uh, so this is a little bit open. Like, it's going to be a tough throw, but he can make this play, and this is, this is NFL open for sure. So all of this stuff, like, this is good. This is what you want to do for the Saints. Now, obviously, things are going to go horribly wrong here. But look, the ball gets tipped a little bit and ends up getting intercepted. And to me, that ball getting tipped a little bit makes all of the dif difference, I would say. Because if it's not tipped, then I don't think that that one gets intercepted. I know some people were saying, well, but the way it was tipped would kind of cause it to go a little bit further towards the right of the screen, but the ball actually went, uh, you know, even more towards the left, so actually he still missed the throw. Uh, that's not really exactly how that works. For one thing, part of why it was that way is because the ball's not going as fast now. It got slowed down a little bit because of the tip. And also, it's possible he missed the throw a little bit too, but like the slowing it down part uh, makes it a big difference. I don't know. It's hard for me to really put too much blame on him for a tipped pass interception like that. Uh, to me, this is not a big deal. The big deal is the fact that they would, you know, go on to not even be able to score seven points of their own at any point during this game. Now, first, what we got to do is we got to, I mean, we just, we, we have to talk about this uh, defensive line and really the, I, I would say Brian Flores and how he's schemed up this Miami Dolphins defense. I should also give some love to Josh Boyer, who obviously he's the defensive coordinator for Miami. So uh, those guys doing some good stuff because what's going to happen on this play, this is what you want to do against a rookie quarterback. So first they're showing blitz again. And this is just something that you just always have to be aware of if you're playing Miami. It's because they could send pressure from anywhere at any time. And this is kind of what makes things difficult, especially as a rookie quarterback who just isn't used to this kind of thing. Is What you're going to do is basically you have it set up so that your uh, offensive line is sliding to the right. And I've kind of showed where each offensive lineman would be blocking with these three players who are going to be rushing the passer. So one of them is a, a halfback, but... Those three guys are rushing the passer. You see how it's set up to block. However, Miami has a counter of their own. Right when this play begins, you see what's happening here is they're running a stunt, meaning that, uh, you know, number 70, he kind of runs directly into the guard, kind of wants to get the guard to run further to his left, which is towards the bottom of the screen. You then have an edge rusher who's going to swing around, and he's going to try to fill that gap in the middle where currently nobody is standing in because, remember, the center is blocking to his right. So this now means that you currently have three offensive linemen to your right who are all just blocking one guy. And on the other side of the field, you are going to have someone who ends up getting completely untouched. 
Look, as you see, he doesn't get completely untouched, but he's able to get through and help create a pressure right there. So really good stuff and, you know, eventually leads to a sack. I'm not sure who got credit for that, but regardless, I mean, really, uh, the defensive play calling should have gotten credit for that sack. Everyone's going to blame either the offensive line or Ian Book. Sometimes just give credit to the defensive guys and how they were able to make the play work. I mean, that's what happened there, I think. Now, there was just some bad stuff from Ian Book. This one is an example where it's going to be a cover two zone. Uh, it's a third down and four. And I mean, listen, uh, the third downs were obviously kind of one of those like, wait, what? The New Orleans Saints end up going 0 for 12 uh, on third downs. So uh, not ideal stuff from them. But like, anyways, the way this play works, third down and four. Uh, and it's a simple zone buster where typically the first receiver is going to kind of clear out some of those guys in zone coverage and Kamara can run underneath. Now, this also works in man. I think that it's actually designed to beat man. And I think that Ian Book believes it might be man. I'm not sure. Regardless, this is going to be a poor read from Book. I mean, watch what happens. Watch. I mean, you see that. I mean, it, they drop back. It's clearly zone coverage. You can see that clearly. Uh, Kamara is not open here. Both Miami players are t keeping an eye on Kamara as they should. Kamara is a great player. Pay more attention to him. This is good defense. Uh, and you know, you might be wondering what about the player who's running deep? Well, they're just trusting that a safety will pick him up, which I can't see, but it, it looks like that's probably happening. So, uh, because of this, this now means that for Ian Book, there's not really much going on on this side of the field. You could try to get to the other side of the field, see if something is open. Uh, maybe something would have would have been tight there as well from what I can see. But regardless, do not make this throw. Ian Book tries to throw an interception here and he fails is basically the way it worked. Uh, Kamara didn't even, you know, uh, really try to break that one up too much at that point, protecting himself. Uh, this was a... Uh, it, it, it was just a bad decision. Uh, there's no getting around it. It was a bad decision. Even if Kamara somehow made that grab, you're going to be you're only gaining a yard on third and four. It's totally not worth the risk. But again, young quarterback, he's going to make some mistakes. This kind of stuff did certainly happen. And the flip side is I did see some stuff like this where when stuff was working, when there was a little bit of a script, we did see a little bit of some flashes of like, competent quarterback play which maybe that's a low bar to clear but at least there's something there uh where what's going to happen is that it's going to be a cover three zone and what you're going to see here is that you have a zone buster that's designed to uh beat this coverage so this is something where the concept itself is working where basically you have three guys on one section of the field only two Miami players are naturally going to be over there so someone else is going to have to get over and make a play and you hit the receiver before someone else can that's the way this concept works and right when this play begins you see Ian Book does run a play action he's going to throw over the middle and you have a player who's open right here so for Ian Book I mean this is a good situation and look Book makes a good throw like it's it's not the highest degree of difficulty play but he made it and looked good doing it and there was a couple of these so again we're talking small flashes but at least there was some stuff that you can you know feel a little bit com comfortable about uh, if you are I don't know Ian Book's parents or whatever so yeah I mean the reality is those on script plays they just didn't happen like almost ever and so that's kind of what the thing was and I wasn't a fan of Ian Book coming out of college I really wasn't I, I didn't love the draft pick when they I didn't really understand the draft pick when it happened so I'm not shocked that he didn't play particularly well uh, I guess my my main thing is you know if we're trying to sort of say like you know, look at the quarterback on the other end right Tua hey let's give Tua time let's make sure he has has time to play well we should do the opposite with even a guy like who's a fourth rounder the reality is with Ian Book you just don't get the time to really prepare yourself and to really play well if you're a mid-rounder you have to play well right away or you're just not going to Stuff isn't going to go well for you. So uh, at least that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on this performance? Because uh, again, it's not so much that I thought that Ian Book played great or anything. I just think that there were more issues than just Ian Book. And one of the biggest issues was the Dolphins defense played well. Give them some credit. So uh, again, that's what I think. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.